Hi everyone, my name is Charlie, and I'm going to try and make this video have some semblance of sense. If you saw my last video, then you know that why I'm wearing this hat. And I'm not going to get into it again, because just talking about my hair underneath this hat unleashed a ramble of ten minutes. Today, I want to talk about Christmas songs. And I want to talk about Christmas music because I have found my Christmas CD. Now, I don't mean that I recorded a Christmas CD because my singing voice is on a par with the drums of hell for how much it could torment somebody. But I have begun to think that I might actually be getting fed up with Christmas songs. Now, we know I wasn't feeling particularly festive last week. And if I'm being honest, the festive joy has appeared once in the last week. And it was whilst I recorded Friday's video called Tinsel, in which I got very... I got reminded a lot of stuff throughout the day because I'd ranted in that video and said about how it's nice to feel nostalgic at Christmas and I'd recorded another video about remembering um, lost relatives in the family video and because of that it left me feeling really nostalgic for different things and that's where I felt my most festive this week so that was on Tuesday which was also Christmas fest and honestly I had one glass of glue vine and soon the feeling of festiveness dissipated. But my mum took all of her CDs out of the car. Now, a lot of the CDs she had in her car were actually my CDs. So they're now in my car. And let me pick it up. I found the CD I bought last year or the, the year before last, which is now that's what I call Christmas. Now, I know that I've already given my mum a different Christmas CD, so I thought it'd be fine to get these three um, this set of three, and basically, I've seen not a lot of songs on here that I don't know, and it got me to thinking about the fact that you're brought up on these Christmas songs, like, there hasn't been a new Christmas song in years, like, I think Coldplay released one, but I'm not about to start listening to Coldplay for anybody, whether they talk about Christmas or not, and... They've got the Leona Lewis song on there, which I s listen to and say I like simply because of the fact that it's the n most modern, newest Christmas song that I know about. And I'm just growing tired of them because you listen to them, you know every word. And, like, we haven't even been playing Christmas songs much in this in our shop. Like, we have them on and off, but most people don't really want to listen to them all the time. And... Like last year, we had someone who'd been working at B&M's and she asked us not to put them on because she'd had to listen to Christmas music since October. And I think I might have got a bit fed up of Christmas music. I still want to listen to it every now and then, but I switched on the Christmas songs on my tally and I was listening to it and I was like, I've heard this song 15 million times in my lifetime, I don't need to listen to it again. Whereas when I was younger, I'd have like watched that song three times through. And I'm beginning to think that I have definitely started to dislike Christmas music more. Sorry, I keep covering up my face because people arrive and I'm still not entirely comfortable in f recording in front of other people. And I said, I joked on Twitter the other last week that should I just record a series of videos about how I've turned into Scrooge. And I think that's kind of where this is going. Last year I recorded a video about my top five Christmas songs and I still adore Fairy Tale of New York more than anything and will listen to Ivy Levan's Frostbitten EP. But I just cannot be doing with Christmas songs this year. I mean, I've never been a fan of Mariah Carey's All I Want For Christmas Is You. But I'll listen to it today simply because it's the one I don't know the words to because I don't like it. And 
I understand that Christmas music and Christmas songs and all the bells that play in the background and all that nice little jingling that goes on and people who aren't ordinarily happy being happy is quite nice to see. But for me, I'm just here a bit like, really? Hasn't this been done before? Hasn't this been done to death? In England, we have the X Factor, and the X Factor has been the main, you know, the winner single has been um, the number one in the charts for quite a few years. Every year, it's try strive to go to Christmas number one. Hopefully, that doesn't happen this year. Um, not because I don't think X Factor winners deserve it, but just because they released it last week and. I'd just like to see some new Christmas music. That's all I'm asking for. Like, let's let's talk about what Christmas is nowadays. It's uh, it's definitely nowhere near anything that we talk about in the songs. It's a, it's about capitalism to a lot of people, and as I'll be talking, as I've mentioned before, the religious aspect is rarely seen anymore. Like, you see him put on a nativity every now and then on the television, but you never see them actually tell the story. And, um... I'd, I feel like we've... Even on the films that were shown on telly to do with Christmas, the importance of the original story of the creation of Christmas is lost. And forgotten about. And... I don't necessarily want to stop listening to Christmas music, but I have grown tired of listening to the same songs. And yeah, there we go. Seven minutes about why I don't why I think I'm just grown too old to care about Christmas songs, like I've grown too old to care for snow. Anyway, I'm gonna go now after I've dragged you all down into the doldrums with me. And one day we're going to talk about, you know, we're going to get bleaker, we're going to get darker. One day we'll get to talking about books again and people can say, why don't you just do what you set out to do with this channel, Charlie? I just can't fit all the books in my car and this is the only place I can record at the moment. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts on Christmas songs down below. And until next time, that is all.